which of the following is a cationic detergent let's start number 1 cetyl trimethyl ammonium bromide student this is a cationic detergent moving to next sodium lauryl sulfate and sodium dodecyl benzene sulfonate these two are anionic detergents and the last stearic acid students stearic acid reacts with polyethylene glycol to form non ionic detergent so here i'm writing reacts with polyethylene glycol to form non ionic detergents that means the correct answer is option a moving to the next question a benzyl carbocation is more stable than a secondary butyl carbocation mainly because of which of the following the options are minus i effect of phenyl group the next option is hyper conjugation the next is plus i effect of phenyl group and the last option is resonance effect of phenyl group student first of all we are given with benzyl carbocation so let's draw it this is benzyl carbocation and another carbocation we are given with is secondary butyl carbocation so this is secondary butyl carbocation so first of all the stability of this that is number 1 is more than number 2 we have to answer the reason why so student here we can clearly see that the charge is delocalized over the benzene ring because of resonance effect on the other hand here the, the charge is delocalized because of hyper conjugation effect so obviously resonance effect is more dominating that means benzyl carbocation is more stable than secondary butyl carbocation because of the resonance effect of phenyl ring that means the correct answer is option number d moving to the next question which of the following is the correct order of increasing field strength of ligands to form coordination compounds students in this question we are given with series of ligands and we have to identify the correct order of their field strength now students one thing we have to keep in mind for such questions that whenever there's a ligand which has carbon as donor atom it generally have stronger field strength so in the given options the correct sequence of ligand field strength is given in option number c that means the ligand field strength of co that is carbonyl is highest and the ligand field strength of ammonia is least that means the correct order is represented in option number c so moving to the next question identify the correct statement from the following students in this question we are given with four statements and we have to identify the incorrect one so let's start with the very first statement vapor phase refining is carried out for titanium by mons process student this is an incorrect statement as a mons process is used for the refining of nickel moving to the next statement pig iron is the purest form of iron student this is also an incorrect statement as pig iron contains approximately 4% carbon as impurities and it is not the purest form of iron rather wrought iron is the purest form of iron moving to the next statement blister copper has blistered appearance due to the evolution of so2 gas student this is a correct statement moving to the last statement the pig iron is prepared from cast iron by oxidizing impurities student this is an incorrect statement as cast iron is prepared by melting pig iron with scrap iron and coke using hot air blast that means the correct answer is option number c moving to the next question which of the following sets have zero dipole moment students in this question we are given with four options and every option contains some molecules we have to identify that option which contains all the molecules with zero dipole moment so let's start with the very first option boron trifluoride carbon tetrachloride 14 dichlorobenzene and sulfur dioxide so student let's start with the very first option we are given with boron trifluoride that is bf3 here we can clearly see that all the bond dipoles cancel out each other the bond dipoles are toward fluorine so the dipole moment is equals to 0 next we are given with carbon tetrachloride that is ccl4 so here this is the structure of ccl4 
all the bond dipoles cancel out each other or we can say that the overall dipole moment is equals to 0. Next we have 1, 4 dichlorobenzene. In this also we can clearly see that all the bond dipoles cancel out each other. That means the overall dipole moment is equals to 0. Last we are given with sulfur dioxide that is SO2. So here sulfur has 1 lone pair and 2 bond pair. Clearly we can say that the dipole moment is not equals to 0. That means number 1 is not the correct option. Moving to the number 2 option which is ammonia, carbon dioxide, 1, 3, dichlorobenzene and water. So student let us consider this option. In ammonia, nitrogen has 1 lone pair and 3 bond pair. Its dipole moment is not equals to 0. Moving to next, carbon dioxide. In carbon dioxide, carbon has 2 bond pairs. All the bond dipoles cancel out each other. As a result, the dipole moment is equals to 0. Then we have 1,3-dichlorobenzene. So here, the bond dipoles do not cancel out each other. As a result, this has a non-zero dipole moment. And the last is water, that is H2O. Here, oxygen has two lone pairs and two bond pairs. Again, the dipole moment is not equal to zero. That means, number two is not the correct option. Moving to the next option, boron trifluoride, 1,3-dichlorobenzene, ammonia and ethanol. So, student, let us consider this. Boron trifluoride is BF3. We have already discussed the bond dipole cancel out each other in BF3 and the overall dipole moment is equals to 0. Then we have 1,3-dichlorobenzene. So, again the dipole moment is not equal to 0. Then we have NH3. The bond dipole does not cancel out each other as a result the overall dipole moment is not equal to 0 and the last we have ethanol ethanol is CH3 CHO this is again a polar molecule as a result we can say that the dipole moment is not equal to 0 that means number 3 is also not the correct answer moving to the last option we have boron trifluoride 1,4 dichlorobenzene carbon dioxide and carbon tetrachloride let us start this option. Number 1, we are given with BF3. We know that the dipole moment is equals to 0. Then we have 1,4 dichlorobenzene. Dipole moment is equals to 0. We have already discussed. Then we have carbon dioxide, CO2. We have already discussed that the dipole moment is equals to 0. And the last we have carbon tetrachloride that is CCl4. Here we have also discussed that the dipole moment is equals to 0 since all the bond dipoles cancel out each other. So students that means among the given options in the last option that is on option number D all the molecules given have 0 dipole moment. That means the correct answer is option number D. Moving to the next question.